Papa Gino's is a restaurant chain that opened in 1961. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest videos. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to a regular scheduled program. The Big Cheese here would like a new special. Oh, the Big Cheese Meal Deal. That's the one. Introducing the Big Cheese Meal Deal at Papa Gino's. Order a large and small cheese pizza for just $14.99 and get a small cheese breadsticks or mozzarella sticks free. You know, you don't have to be a Big Cheese to get the Big Cheese Meal Deal. Do you want to tell them? Or should I? Stop by Papa Gino's for your Big Cheese Meal Deal today. Papa Gino's. Pizza at its best. The founder of Papa Gino's, Michael Valerio, was born in Via Latina in Italy. In 1936, he immigrated to the United States with his family, settling in a predominantly Italian community of East Boston. The Valerios brought with them recipes that had been in the family for generations, which Michael and his wife Helen then put to use when they opened their first pizzeria called Piso Pizza in East Boston in 1961. Some accounts suggest Valerio opened his first pizza shop in East Boston in 1953. Additional locations opened in the 50s and early 60s under the name Piso Pizza Restaurants. The company was incorporated in January of 1963 as Piso Pizza Inc. Most of these stores were located in downtown Boston with limited seating and focusing on takeout, serving pizza and grilled sandwiches. The two varying accounts agree, however, that the small chain changed its name to Papa Gino's of America, Inc. in 1968. Over the years, all of the Piso Pizza units were sold until only one remained in, by 1983, which was located in Everett, Massachusetts. Papa Gino's began spreading to New England suburbs in the late 1960s through the mid-1970s, at a time when retailers were abandoning the cities for the new regional malls. Because mom and pop pizzerias were well entrenched in the urban areas, the suburbs, with much less competition, were a natural place for pizza chains such as Papa Gino's to find growth. Papa Gino's was opening units in the new malls, as well as smaller shopping centers, too. The chain began opening freestanding restaurants in the late 1970s and early 1980s. The units provided 100 to 125 seats, offering both tables and booths. There was a limited service, customers placing their orders at the front counter and picked them up when their numbers were called. Along the way, the chain also spurred growth by adding to the menu to attract more customers. In 1977, the stores responded to the popularity of salad bars by adding a $1.99 all-you-can-eat smorgasbord. Two years later, Papa Gino's added a complete line of 17 submarine sandwiches. In 1981, an all-you-can-eat salad bar was added, and in October of 1982, the thick pan pizza was introduced. The chain numbered 125 units by 1983. The greater Boston area included 50 units, while 35 more outlets were located elsewhere in Massachusetts, 15 in New Hampshire, 13 in Connecticut, 6 in Rhode Island, 4 in New York, and a single stores in Maine and Vermont. All were company-owned because in order to maintain quality control, Papa Gino's opted not to franchise its concept. A commissary in Needham Heights, Massachusetts, supplied the restaurants with most of the products, although outlying stores made their own pizza dough each day, and each store was responsible for buying its own fresh local produce. By 1990, the chain reached 218 locations, and they were located in the New England states and New York as well as Florida. Rising sales were fueled in part by the emphasis on delivery and takeout. 
At the start of the 1990s, management was finally ready to pursue franchising the Papa Gino's brand as a way to take the chain into New Jersey and Pennsylvania as part of the strategy of spreading north to south from its New England base and south to north from its beachhead in Florida, but management moved cautiously. The economy soured and lapsed into recession in 1990. Papa Gino's was forced to squeeze out a profit. The company, for the first time in its history, was forced to trim its payroll, laying off 25 employees. It cut costs further by scraping the rollout of the delivery system and also terminated its franchising program. Sales dwindled in 1991, and in November of that year, Valero and his wife decided to sell Papa Gino's. The buyers were an investment group headed by Gordon Miles, chairman and CEO of Rusty Pelican, and included the New York venture capital firm of McCown, DeLue and Company and Boston's Berkshire Partners. The new owners launched their own franchising program. However, the Miles Group also took steps intended to dress up the balance sheet to effect a quick return on their investment, a wage freeze, the modification of recipes, and outsourcing food preparation to cut costs. The measures worked at first, but soon backfired. The bottom line was hurt due to rising competition, as well as by management's investment in expansion and another attempt at introducing a delivery system. In 1993, a new CEO quickly put a stop to the expansion and hired a management team to focus on the health of the existing stores. To win back customers, the chain emphasized what had always differentiated from the competition, the diversity of its menu. More importantly, it upgraded the quality of the food, which had slipped considerably under previous management. For example, Primo Pizzas, a line of gourmet pizzas, was introduced as were new appetizers and dessert offerings. In addition, the stores received a much-needed facelift as well as new awnings and signs were installed. In August of 1997, it acquired a submarine sandwich chain, D'Angelo's Sandwich Shops, Inc., from Pizza Hut for $55.5 million. The parent company was also looking to expand both the D'Angelo and Papa Gino's brands by combining the concepts into one shared unit. By the fall of 2003, a dozen of the co-branded units were operating. The chain has also partnered up with the Boston Red Sox and the New England Patriots, as well as individual players with the team such as former Red Sox designated hitter David Ortiz, as well as Patriots linebacker Teddy Bruschi. On September 18, 2018, Bunker Hill Capital Partners ended their investment with PGHC Holdings. On November 4, 2018, dozens of Papa Gino locations closed abruptly. Tonight, the doors are closed and the employees are in the dark. Word getting out today that dozens of Papa Gino's stores in the Boston area abruptly shut down. Certainly a blow to employees who didn't know they'd suddenly be without a job. And customers are now wondering what led to the shutdown of a neighborhood pizza spot. WBZ's Tiffany Chan reports from the closed store in Mansfield. Employees had no idea. I spoke with one guy who worked the night shift here at the Papa Gino's in Mansfield. He came back to work this morning only to find the doors locked and a sign reading, this location is now closed. We've seen customers come by here all evening hoping to pick up some game day pizza and wings only to be left disappointed. They're all wondering why. It's lights out for several Papa Gino's pizza locations across Massachusetts. People pulling on the doors trying to get in. It's surprising to me. Here in Mansfield, several patrons were caught off guard by the abrupt closing. Paul Bergman comes here every weekend for a pie and wings, but this time he left empty handed and hungry. It's so, usually very busy in there right here. Uh, it is. That is. I'm normally here on Sunday night, sometimes Saturday. To make matters worse, many Papa Gino's employees didn't get the heads up either. Some took their frustrations to Facebook. One person wrote, my son and his girlfriend are employees of one of the now closed Papa Gino's. Their manager called them in tears and told them they don't work there anymore as their store was closing for good. We saw customers tug on a locked door clearly frustrated, greeted by a sign saying the store is 
is now permanently closed. While employees and customers left in the dark, the Dedham based pizza chain has yet to answer exactly how many locations are impacted and a reason behind the closings. In Mansfield, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News. The Dedham based company that owned the Papa Gino and D'Angelo chains closed 95 restaurants, filed for bankruptcy protection, and reached an agreement to sell the business. The company closed 47 Papa Gino's and 45 D'Angelo grilled sandwiches locations in all, in addition to the three restaurants that were already closed, according to the bankruptcy court filing. The sale would allow the chain to remodel and modernize its 141 company-owned restaurants across Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. There are a total of 178 Papa Gino's and D'Angelo locations throughout the four states. So what are some of your favorite memories about this pizza chain? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.